Hello and welcome back to JSTV's Youth Connect. We are back in the studio with Brett and Alex Harris, the authors of Do Hard Things. Welcome back, guys. Uh, Brett, Alex. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, hey, hey sorry. We're just <laughs> reading this great book. Oh, okay. Incredible red book. Red book. <laughs> Called hey, Do Hard Things. Do these guys things. look familiar to you? It's like a mirror. All right, anyway, sorry. Yes. So last time we talked a lot about the, your inspirations for writing this book and um, I just wanted to kind of give our viewers sort of an inside look at your upbringing and you know just talking about the wisdom that you gained from people, mentors who are older than you, people in your life that you mm -hmm. helped shape you. Sure. Yeah. Well, one of the, the main ideas that we talk about in our book is the importance of companionship and the power of working together with others. And the Bible says that the glory of youth is their strength, mm -hmm. and it says the glory of the old is their gray hair, which symbolizes wisdom. And so a lot of times you have young people who have a lot of energy, they have a lot of strength and passion, but they don't necessarily know what to do with it. Right. And you have older people who have wisdom, they have life experience, they see problems that need to be addressed, but they might not have the flexibility and the energy to actually see it done. Mm -hmm. And so when you bring wisdom and strength together, that's a very exciting thing. It's a very powerful thing. And so we have been the beneficiaries of many such uh, older, wiser companions. Our parents are, are our number one companions, our father Greg Harris, our mother Sono Harris, and they have been just absolutely foundational in not just everything we're doing here, but really who we are and what we're about. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of heroes. I think we can, yeah. Yeah. We can yeah. go down quite a list. Do you want yeah. to? Well, I, I mean, I think that you know, our philosophy is, is just that you know, young people, you know, any, any person should have heroes because we need, you know, we need a human-shaped target to, to aim at you know, to as far as you know, what we want to become and how we want to grow. And, you know, it's, it's nice to have ideas about, you know, I want to be a good, I want to be a good father, I want to be a good, you know, husband eventually, I want to, you know, be a good businessman or whatever it is that we want to do. But when it's just this abstract concept and it's not like I want to be like this person, you know, they were a good father, they were a good businessman, they were a good, you know, statesman and politician. Um, that really is so helpful. So we try to really have heroes you know, in all stages of life, you know, people that you know, are the kind of uh, husbands we'd want to be someday, people are the kind of fathers we'd want to be someday, you know, the kind of you know, politicians or pastors or whatever. And it's not like we plan on doing, you know, necessarily doing everything, but just to see this is what it looks like to follow God in this area, mm -hmm. you know, and to have heroes in different areas. Yeah. Um, that can encourage you. So that's our philosophy. So because of that, you know, we have a lot of heroes in different places, you know, both heroes that are alive today as well as a lot that are, you know, have lived a long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, some of them would be, you know, men like um, Francis Schaeffer would be one, C.S. Lewis, um, Charles Spurgeon, uh, men like, you know, past William Wilberforce, William Wilberforce yeah. uh, who, who abolished slavery in, in uh, Great, Britain. Great Britain. He spent his whole life fighting that. Um, you know, men like Teddy Roosevelt, uh, as you know, one of our you know, great presidents, Ronald Reagan. Um, just a lot of, you know, well, we could keep going and going. Yeah.